guys, welcome back to another video with Karen Zima. Now today we're going to be working on this landscape. And I'm very happy the way it came out. The clouds are beautiful. It's just a beautiful summer day. And it wasn't that hard to create at all. I can show you how to put the trees in, the clouds, the fence, the barn, all that stuff. Just stay tuned and I'll show you how. If I can do it, you can do it. So stay tuned working on a landscape and this is a country road landscape and the sky is going to be kind of intense with blues and purples and fluffy clouds there's going to be a road here a fence leading your eye there and then the barn and so according to the rule of thirds most of the stuff is down here and the sky is going to take up the upper two-thirds of this canvas. So let's get started on this. Now, some of the colors I put out is a black, a white, a blue, a purple, and white, blue, purple, black, white. We're just going to start on the sky for now. So let me start by putting in nice, nice light blue color. And we're just trying to get it going. You need, you need uh, some color to add to it. You need a first layer. So I'm putting it on rather quickly because it's not going to be the end result. It's going to be a lot of clouds, purples, blues, a lot of different colors in this sky. Clouds can be fun. Don't treat the sky as the last part of the paint. I paint the sky first, just like in my portraits. I paint the eyes first. Skies can be fascinating and set the mood for the whole painting. How much importance do you want to place on the sky is an important question to ask yourself. I place an importance on the soft edges while I'm painting. Clouds on the horizon are cooler and lighter, so don't forget that. I'm putting down right now a mixture of ultramarine blue and white with a touch of red. Then I use purple tones to enhance these colors.
some of this bright yellow. And get some white in there. Get a little bit of brown. And come up with this kind of grassy color. I refreshed my palette, put out a couple more colors. Um, what we have here is an orange. There's a very pretty, um, like a yellow ogre. It's bright red. Over here we have a tan and a flush and two different browns. It's a dark brown, a medium brown. Three different greens. There's a pathalo. Um, it's like a regular green color and like a kiwi green. And then they're black and white. And we're going to continue on. I'm going to start working on this rose, which is going to be very colorful. It's going to be like a yellow and orange kind of road, which will brighten it up a little bit here. So I'm going to start by putting in, let's see, a road. The road's going to go like this. And up here is a little bit of embankment with some uh, vegetation growing there. All right. basic shape here of a tree that's just gonna be the end of the road kind of thing. Taking a little pathalo and a little black and just making some shapes that are gonna be down in here. center of the road where it's kind of like warm. It will be darker. And maybe a little bit, a little bit over here. Alright, now I'm going to blend that in. Here, what I'm going to do, I'm 
going to get some, a lighter, lighter beige tone. Kind of pull out some vegetation here, growing.
if there's any areas you want to continue to work on. I think I'm going to call it quits. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, glad I'm happy the way it turned out. And I hope you guys had fun watching. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and keep on practicing. Until next time.